well, I said in the last video, the video was coming. Here it is. Yes, it's Bologna Torres, and this is Star Trek Fleet Command. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, on today's video we are going to be talking about this special lady here. Yes, it's Roxanne Dawson, or as commonly known by most of us, is Bellona Torres. Or, as a quick FYI, BLT. B. Okay, it's meant to be an L, but okay. And then Torres for T. Bacon, lettuce and tomatoes. Her initials. And now, drop in the comment section. Who actually called her BLT? And here's a quick hint, Equinox. So there's a hint for that one. So drop in the comment section who you thought, who you think it was. But anyway, this is Bellana Torres. She is a rare officer that one of the, one, well, actually the, probably the only officer that free-to-play players are going to have the chance to have unlocked this month, which is good. However, what's future sourcing going to be for this officer? Really can't tell you. Not particularly happy the fact that we never actually get told about future sourcing. But then again, that's a problem we all have to suffer and we've suffered for years. Hopefully, at some point, they're going to change that and actually give us information about future sourcing. But until then, we're going to be stuck with a Tier 1 Torres. Now, on today's show, we're going to have a quick look at her officer ability and her, her below deck ability. Because she is a below deck officer. As you can see from the information across there, she is technically unfit to lead. Although she has actually been in the captain's chair at least once that I can definitely remember, maybe once more. But anyway, me against the galaxy, her officer's ability. Now, this is obviously a quote that um, she um, said once, I believe, to Lieutenant Paris whilst he, when there was in the relationship. And she, this is the way she's always felt. It was always her against the galaxy. And that may be just because she's a half Klingon. Yes, her mother was a Klingon. Her, hu her dad was a human. Her mother had died and we did have an episode where we saw her mother on the Barge of the Dead. Yes, the Barge of the Dead going to Grathor, the Klingon Underworld. Not the Klingon Heaven, which was Stovacor. So Bologna had to try and sort that one out and get her mum into Stovacor because she believed that her own dishonour had put her mother in Grathor. So, yeah. But that, that being said, she eventually... Um, fell out with her dad as well before she got lost in Delta Quadrant. Eventually uh, t spoke to him once the intergalactic communication was established in Season 7. And because um, he, he actually reached out to her. She didn't want to. She talked to him. By the end of it, she said, message me. T drop me a line. Stay in touch. So I, I think this was a, a new start for Bologna and her dad. Um... Next up is the below deck ability, knock it down. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where that, that line's come from. I mean, most of the um, abilities that they've been adding lately have actually focused on a specific line that the character has said. But knock it down, yeah, I'm not quite sure where that was said. Maybe if you do know, drop it in the comment section. So let's have a quick look there. So we'll have a look at the officer ability. Uh, when taking damage from a non-hostile a uh, non-player hostile, so basically a red dot, or an armada. Bolanda Toys increases armor piercing, shield piercing, and accuracy by 250% of attack for one round. Now, this could also include gold hostiles, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. We may just have a quick look at that here in this video. But the one thing is, it is only for one round. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've not figured out how to find... Um, what you're doing piercing stat wise so that's something I've got to look into so actually we won't be looking into that in this video but what we will be looking at is to see if this actually will proc there's only a 10% chance of it but she has a chance to apply hull breach to non-player hostiles red dots and uh, or amadas 
Now, it doesn't say what a madder specifically, so I'm going to run a couple of madders from Solo to the Cardassians and an exchange here in this video. Obviously, that's going to be heavily edited, I will warn you. And then we'll have a quick look at the battle log. So, without further ado, let's actually put her on to level 5 so she's actually got the stats, and then we're going to put her on a ship. Now, I'm actually going to do this slightly differently. Because I don't, I don't want to go heavy on it. But the one thing is I want to make sure I get enough rounds in as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this ship here. I'm going to change it over for the Enterprise. Because I've got quite a few slots on the Enterprise. And then click on that. Below deck ability. And here she is. Stick her in. So now we've got the chance to apply Hull Breach to the ship. Now I'm just going to leave this crew on. Because obviously this was the crew I was running for Exchange Armadas. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fly out to a solo system. And where we're going to actually um, have a look at her. Now yes you'll probably see a lot of mining things there. Because I've just done the mining video. So Dominion Space. And we're not going to go... Stupidly high with this one. We're gonna actually go small. Hopefully we can get enough rounds off this one But we'll find out in a minute or so Okay, so here we are in Rakan in Dominion Space It's the one with the first system with these Dominion flagships now I know for a fact I can punch way higher than this I can punch um, level 48 ones of these but I figured what better way to test Bologna against this one now hopefully we're going to get a fair few rounds out of this so which means we can actually test her to see if she if this 10 percent actually does prog in this fight but we'll find out surely okay well while it was a fast trip for you me waiting for this to actually finish oh it can be a bit of a drag even for a minute and a half but anyway so here we go there's a combat and boom oh the enterprise bit uh that doesn't lend itself to very good that, he, that this is going to be many, many rounds. So let's have a quick look. We might have to go for the level 40. Nice and easy. Oh, it went 21 rounds. Excellent. So let's move into the middle and let's see if we can actually find Bellona Torres procking Hull Breach. Now, Hull Breach does actually improve critical damage. Um, It's a boost. I'm still... Working out the mass meta, it's been explained to me multiple times, but I'm still struggling with it. But I will be doing a video on Hull Breach at some point, so watch out for that one. But anyway, here we go. Round two, still no Bologna. Now, there was no specific reason, uh, um, specific thing that needed to happen for it to proc. Like Khan, you actually need to be hit before he actually procs. This is round four. Round four, and we actually have a proc of Bologna Torres. Okay. So, critical damage there of 2.1 million. And if we go back to the last critical shot I saw, 1.3. Do I have another one that I can use? 1.4. Wow. Okay, so, th so whole breach is definitely working. And obviously, I, I can see some... Now, I don't know. I think that might be the more powerful weapon that's fired there. So... Oh, no. There's, there's another one at 2.4 million. And that's all in the same round. Ooh. So that was the one round it procced for. And then we're back down to 1.3 million criticals. But we are going to start hitting criticals pretty soon, most of the time. Because obviously, Khan is procking at 4% every time I'm hit. So if I'm hit multiple times in a round... He's obviously hit, he's obviously pocking. What we've got one, two, two there in that round. So, but we've still got no Bologna pocking. But it's not going to be long before I'm smacking criticals. There we go 1.3, 1 1.3. 1 there we go. Right, so there's a big one there. So, so yes, it was definitely a big one that we got the 2.1, but we can still see the difference. I mean, what th this is round, um. Round 8, we can see the difference. 1.6 million. That last one was 2.1 million. 
So let's just have a look. I mean, still not got still got Khan Pock in. So it's not doing any extra. I've got 1.5, 1.8. Now, obviously, that, that is a variation. That's between the minimum damage and the maximum damage. So we can always anticipate that one. Still no. So we're up to round 13 and still we've only had that one proc. Here we go. Another one. Another proc. <coughs> so... The chance of criticals in it has gone to 1.9 million. 1.9 million. We've got 2 million. 2.8, 2.7. So the whole breach is definitely working. We can definitely see that it's actually working. And if I'm right, this seems to be proccing every time it's the Enterprise's third weapon that fires. So looking at this, I mean, did I, did I just miss one in that round? Um... No, she's still not pocked in that round. So we've got three procs so far. And uh, still nothing more. No, still going. We've got a shot in there. Here we go, last round. And Blonde's not there. So, out of all that, three procs. That's actually not particularly too bad for a 21 round um, swing at this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go find a Cardassian Armada and we're going to take on a Cardassian Armada. So it's seven minutes. So I'll edit to the actual fight and then the um, pfft, battle log. Okay, so we're in the final seconds and we're going to fight. I've already got two friends come to join me on this one. So hopefully we can get a good number of rounds where the Enterprise is actually going to shoot against this thing. And then we're going to move on to an exchange one as well. So there we go. The Enterprise has dealt with that one along with my friends. So we're going to recall the Enterprise while we have a look at the battle log. Now I will just say yes, I am only basing this on one Amada each. Here, yeah, this one went only six rounds. Okay, so we're going to have to do a 39 on this one. Okay, so while that wasn't enough, I've just started a 39. And I've just actually said to the guys... That 36 wasn't enough rounds. So what we're going to do is we're still going to look at those rounds regardless. Because are we going to see her proc? Now, as you can see, I've got um, a nice little texture here where we can't even see who's actually firing a shot here. But obviously my Kirk and Five are still activating. Scroll through. Changing Kira there. Um, still no... Um, Torres. Wow, changing camera, procking three times in that round. Oh, here we go. We, we have a proc. We have a proc on round three. So that's actually not too bad. So we've got one proc. Can we get a second one? Before the end of the fight. It's round five. No. Looks like we're not going to have another proc. No, we're not going to have another proc. So that is it. So one proc in six rounds. That's actually not particularly too bad. We're, considering we had three procs against this solo armada over 21 rounds. So could there be a slight pattern there? Because already I've already got one in six. It's a 10% chance, but I've already got a 1 in 6. And that's two different Amadas. Now, yes, I was, as I've already stated, um, I am only doing one Amada of each. Obviously, this is going to be a 39 now. So, but the one proc is still a good option. But anyway, another five minutes. Okay, so you've all come the quick way around me. I've come through the whole timer and a nosebleed at the, join it as well. So yeah, I've just had fun while we um, wait for this. As you can see, my, my friends have turned up to help me um, kick this thing into touch. That's promising. Far more damage. That is promising. So let's have a look at what we've got. Um, oh, poor, poor Seti um, died, unfortunately. But... Oh my god, is that it? Just 10 rounds? Just 10 rounds? 
Okay, we'll go with 10 rounds. So if we're going on the averages that we've seen so far, we've had a 21 round with three procs. We've had a six round with one proc. Looking at one in six so far on average. Just, okay, if you want to be pedantic, so just a little bit over. But so what? So here we go. So nothing on the first round, obviously. Yeah, nothing on the second round, neither. And... Plenty of shots being fired, though. Round three, nothing there. So, on the last one, we had a proc on round three. This one, she's not pro she's not proc'd yet. On the solo, it was round four. It was round, uh, round five, if I remember correctly. Uh, it looks like the Kelvin's about to get his ass booted here. And... Yeah, round five, still no proc. So now we're out. We're almost out of sequence. So there goes the Kelvin. We know for a fact the Kelvin was destroyed from the original data log. So still nothing on round six. So that also oh, so that was round seven. It's round eight. I didn't realise we'd actually gone that far through. Oh, round nine, nothing. And round ten, nothing. So we actually had a fight where she hasn't procced, which is a good sign. Ten percent. Clearly showing doesn't always work, and it threw out my theory of a one in six proc. So next up, we're going to try an exchange. And yes, we will also be looking at some PvE battles as well. So I'm going to send the Enterprise home. In fact, I'll tell you what, no, the Enterprise is going to go do the... Ex oh, no, we want to see it work on the Stella, don't we? So we better send it home. Okay, so I've just activated an Exchange Armada. And as you can see from the chat box up top, I've asked for this to be solo. So this will be just me fighting this level 31 on comp. And we'll see what we're going to get from this. So quick edit to the end. Okay, so I've managed to get away with nobody actually coming, which actually surprises me sometimes. And here we go. So there's the fight. Ooh, got some points. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we've got um, the ticketed mission, ticketed event. So here we go. So one exchange bank, level 31. We've gone six rounds. Okay, so it could have been better. Could have been more, but we'll have a quick look at this one. And then we'll go do some PvE. See if we can get it activated on PvE. So, got nothing as of yet. Up to round three. And still can't see her. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Round five. And round six. And she's still not activated. So... There you go, that's that 10% working on Amadas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a PvE fight. Now, the one thing is I don't want to go for like the Kelvin to go up against the traders. For the simple fact is I want it to go quite a few rounds. Hence the reason why we're going to go after, after them in the Enterprise. Good, so move them all over. And then we're going to jump... The soul system, and I know I'm not using the correct crew for jumping around, but a ho, never mind. I'm not right. So, locate, call in the enterprise, boom. The enterprise will then go straight to target that one for the sheer hell of it. So, if my enterprise destroys it. Good. <laughs> and no, I've lost. So that's absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about winning this fight. The only thing that's going to be worried... Here we go. So we've got 46 rounds. Okay, so 46 rounds. We've got a fair whack of rounds here. We can actually quickly look through. And... There we go, round five, 
is your first proc of Bolana. Oh, there she goes again. Round seven. Woo! Round nine? Okay, so now we're going... That's once every, twi every two rounds. Ah, uh, there we go. Skipped one round. Here we go. I think she's done all the pox for this battle now. So, still no sign of her. So, wow, we've actually gone... Here we go. Round 23 before she pox again. So, clearly 10%. We have proved the whole breach does work. We proved she's pretty good. It, it's all right in the matters. It's a, it's a miss. But, yeah, she is going to be one of those that you will need to get up. Now, if if we can get it to work, let's have a quick look at her stats in stfc.space. Okay, so here she is in stfc's. Aussie, no picture. I'm not even going to comment. But, so me against the galaxy then. So as you can see, out of the box, 250%. And when you finally do get up to tier 5, she is going to be a whopping 1500%, which is going to be pretty damn good. Again, like I said earlier in the video, not quite sure how to assess if I'm actually doing the pacing stats right. Again, that's something I'm going to have to discuss with, um, just for instance, like the talking Trek team. Just to have a word with them. They're pretty good at maths. And then obviously your blow deck ability. Knock it down. Starts off at 10%. And when you get into tier 5, she's going to be pocking whole bridge 100% of the time. Wow. That's better than Gorkan. Because he's only 90%. So that's going to be even It's going to be even better than Lorca. But it is PvE. It is against the Marders. <clears throat> I do apologise. I just had a bit of a coughing fit. So, yeah. Now we have to do is just wait for sourcing. So, let's have a quick look at the um, the rank structure. Um, maximum number of shards going to be needed. We've got 34, 84, 184, 200, 300, 500, and 14. Give or take. Something like that. I'm just plucking a number off the top of my head. No, it's a 9, isn't it? So let's say that's 169 straight away, 269, 469, 519. 519 shards to max around. Total number of credits is 6,500, 19,500 mm -hmm. and three engineering badges. So, yeah, not that bad to upgrade really when you think about it. But again, it's going to come down to the fact of we need sourcing. And the traits is going to be engineering and analytical. Yes. Have they put the synergy offices in? Yes, they put the doctor at 0%. But then again, she doesn't synergize on it because she's not fit to command. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that if we actually get bridge officers next month. Who knows? But anyway, I'll leave this um, lovely little stat up there for you. This is... Um, Bologna Taurus, the showcase. We've just shown her Armadas and a PvE fight. Can't grumble too much. She's not gonna, she's not perfect at the high levels, but you still got that small chance of it actually happening. Take it as you will. I definitely would recommend tier 4. But again, Scopely, we need sourcing. Anyway... I'm Admiral Pegasus, this is the Pegasus Show. Thank you for joining me on this show. Don't forget there's a link to my Discord as well in the uh, video description, along with two links um, for two different uh, donation points, should you wish to donate to the channel. All donations are greatly appreciated and received. Again, us content creators, we can't do this without your support. We do these videos for you guys for the love of the community and helping you through this game and giving you our perspective on the game. Don't forget, we've got incursions uh, prep coming up as well this weekend. So watch out for that as we have incursions starting on the 1st of June. Good luck to the Asia Pacific um, servers on your first one of this one. Um, I will be looking at a live stream um, on that one just to give you my thoughts on incursions. How If we actually stay live for the hot... If we actually stay on incursions for the whole stream, we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, I better run. I've got the videos to edit. Stay safe, live long and prosper. 
Goodbye.